now Georgia Tech, who not only uh, go in a different direction in terms of the head coach, but also the athletic director. So there are going to be some major changes there. Uh, what is the presumed plan of attack here? Well, Wendy, this has become a bit of a trend in college football, uh, firing the AD, hiring a new one, and then letting that AD pair himself with the new coach. So that will all unfold the next two months or so at Georgia Tech so they can be in position in early November to hire a new coach and really run a full, uh, a full throttle search. Well, when they do that, there will be some candidates that we'll hear about. We're already hearing names, some of them familiar, floated out there. Uh, take me through some of the potential replacements at Georgia Tech. Always tricky to project names when you don't know who's going to make the hire, so we still need to put the AD in place. But I think the two names that make the most sense at Georgia Tech, Wendy, are Jamie Chadwell, who's had unbelievable success at Coastal Carolina, also brings an option element back to Georgia Tech, which had a lot of success with it with Paul Johnson. And then there's former Yellow Jacket assistant Bill O'Brien, obviously the former Texans coach who's the OC at Alabama. And if you want to hire a coach early, another trend that we've seen recently in college football, the, the two names there are Bill Clark, who had a lot of success at UAB before stepping down for back surgery, and Bronco Mendenhall, the former UVA coach who stepped down. Bronco's ready to get back in it. All right, Pete, thank you. Jeff Collins, by the way, 10 and 28 as Georgia's head coach. That 263 win percentage, the worst by a head coach at Georgia Tech in, in their history. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.